You're not going to run. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have three standards. You know, number one, uh, who can be a good president? Who actually can walk into the Oval Office and understand what is expected of the next president? Number two, who has an agenda so that uh, whoever that person is can run on it in a general election, try to bring along members of the House and the Senate um, so that we can actually demonstrate that democracy still works. It was encouraging in 2018 to see uh, big turnouts in many parts of the country, to see a uh, sea change in the House of Representatives. But we also have to change the Senate. Uh, it's not going to do us any good if uh, you still have the Senate um, siding with voter suppression and other tactics to uh, limit the number of people who uh, are permitted to vote, even though they're more than eligible to vote. And then finally, who can win? Because ultimately, that's what it comes down to, and not just win a big popular vote victory, as I did, but win the Electoral College. We have our work cut out for us, and I'm looking for somebody who understands uh, how challenging that's going to be and is ready to take it on and be the next president. When I think about John Lewis uh, being beaten uh, because he dared to demand voting rights for black people, we are now going backwards. We're going backwards with voter suppression and voter purging, and we're going backwards with propaganda and hacking and direct interference by a foreign adversary. John is a rebuke to all of the you know, cruelty that we see uh, in our politics, unfortunately, today. I mean, he campaigns wholeheartedly for other people. He travels as much as he can across our country, delivering a message of uh, love and kindness and tolerance, but combined with strength and determination to stand against the uh, forces of negativity that we face. So I hope he will keep doing that because his voice and his example are probably needed uh, now as much as they've ever been since he was a young man uh, crossing that bridge in Selma.